All right, all right, all right. What is up, all you sweet true footy babies? It's Jesse here back again for another tier maker. That's right, I'm really driving this content into the ground. This time, we're doing a video in the spirit of most of my off season content or extended off season with the COVID thing. I'm going to be ranking all of the AFL video games that I've ever played. Now, this is a tough ask because, let's face it, most AFL video games that you or I have played suck ass, but I'm gonna have a crack at doing this in light of the fact that I have just, you know, spent months making this AFL Evolution 2 career for the channel while there was nothing else to talk about. And yes, making constant AFL Evolution videos one after the other may have brought my channel into the start of a decline or perhaps a slow and steady death, but hey, at least I had fun making them. But anyway, guys, in today's video, the concept's very simple. I'm using Tier Maker again. We're going to be ranking them based on five tiers. And this Tier Maker, a little shout out, was made by the man himself, Caden McDonald, at Kados38. You should really go check him out. He's a really good up and coming AFL YouTuber. No, but in all seriousness, I have had the pleasure of having Caden on the True Footy podcast. So. If you were in hibernation over the off-season and missed it, because frankly, no one seemed to be watching my videos, then you can go back to True Footy Podcast 50 and see an hour-long interview with myself and the great man, Caden. But anyway, let's move on. I'm going to be taking you through five tiers. I've got never played as the bottom tier, because that's important, because I can't rank play, uh, teams... Sorry, I can't rank games that I've never played. I've got yes, yes, yes at the top. And in the middle, it's a whole bunch of meh. I've got, it's playable. And that is the second tier, which says a lot about AFL games. In the middle, I've got, yeah, nah, which is, you know, good crack, but I'm not going to play this. And are you kidding? Which, you know, without having a look yet, I'm going to imagine there's a few games that fall into that category. So let's get into it. I'm going to start by ruling out the games that I never played. So what is this one? That is AFL Finals Fever. Never played it. I don't know what this one is. Is that, is that 96? I certainly never played that. I was three years old, 96. Is that even a game? Was it 99? I don't know. Someone informed me in the comments. Uh, AFL Challenge never played, but I can I can very confidently say that would have sucked. Um, what else we got here? Aussie Rules Footy never played it, and Kevin Sheedy's coach. So uh, I realize that I haven't played all these games, and that's you know unfair to them. They're not included, but uh, frankly, I can't rate them because you know didn't play them. All right, let's get into it, guys. I remember my first AFL Evolution game. Sorry, AFL Live game was 2003. I thought it was the absolute ducks nuts. I remember seeing it at Target and being like, oh my god, they make games for footy? And it's got that Moorcroft mark on the cover and I remember being absolutely transfixed by it. I took it home and, you know, I kind of liked it. It was a good game for the time and that's the other thing you got to compare. You can't really compare AFL Live 2003 with AFL Evolution 2 because frankly, what's that, 17, 18 years in between production. So, um, I've given myself, oh, I've given myself a tough one first up. I'm going to say AFL Live 2003. It's probably a yeah, nah. Let's face it. So I loved it when it came out for what it was, but even for its time, it was it was okay. Or was it playable? No, I'm going to leave it there for now, and then I'll shuffle. AFL 98. That was quite good. I'll say that was playable. So I've played that a little bit just to see what it was like. Obviously, it wasn't like playing footy games when I was four or five years old, but um, that was made by EA, one of the few made by EA. I think the other one was that 96 one with Robert Harvey on the cover. Um, obviously, the resources they have of making AFL games is so much higher. They're never going to bring it back. Everyone wants them in 2K to undertake an AFL game. It's not going to happen. So let's just support the creators that are doing it now, the developers, guys like Wicked Witch and Big Ant. Um, anyway, f massive tangent by me. It was a good game because it was made by EA, um, and it actually flowed pretty well from memory. The Are You Kidding? I'm really thinking of one game here, and that's AFL Live 2, and I think that was, like, Wicked Witch's first crack at a proper, like, PS4 game with AFL, so I think they had AFL Live was Big Ant, and I thought that was really good, and I'll do that next. And then AF, the Big Ant seemed to have lost the license for the AFL games. Wicked Witch undertook it, made their own like PS4 or whatever console version of it. And I just remember thinking it was the worst thing ever. So what I used to do with footy games is I used to buy it at uh, EB because they'd have the seven-day returns policy. 
and on the seventh day, I would return it if I didn't like the game. And that's fair. That's exactly what the policy policy exists for. So get off my get off my nuts. But with AFL Live Two, I think I returned it on the second or third day of playing it. It was that bad, and by far the worst attempt at a game I think I've seen. Uh, so I was not optimistic about Wicked Witch undertaking the AFL sort of license. But I will I will get down to the more modern games sin, uh, later. Let's touch on AFL Live. This was a great effort. I'm going to put it in yes, yes, yes. Because that is up there with one of the best AFL games I've played. The thing that it lacked, there's no real career mode. You had a season mode, no training, and limited customization. But this is a small team in Big Ant undertaking a big project. We had like 45 staff. And I think in terms of the game mechanics, the flow, it was really fun. I really wish, like in rugby, they've got their rugby license. If they had done three or four episodes in a row, we would have a sick product by now. But alas, it was not meant to be. They've also done a very good cricket game or series of cricket games as well that I've played and can vouch for are really good. So I wouldn't be disappointed if one day they got another crack at it. Let's go back a little bit to that mid noughties period to some of these other games that I grew up with. Um, I'm going to say AFL Live 2004. Are we are we getting towards playable? Probably not. Oh, but it was actually a right A. I remember seeing this at Harvey Norman. I think I saw this the day of the 03 Grand Final. It was very playable at the time. Uh, no, I'll put it in year now because frankly it's not as good as 98. Um, I think that's fair. Then you've got 05, 06, and 07. Hard to split these. They were all the same people. I can't remember who it was, actually, who made these games. Uh, does it actually say on there? Nah, I can't actually tell from here who it was. But whatever it was, they got like three or four cracks in a row, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I'm going to put them all in... Yeah, nah. Is this being harsh? Is this being harsh? You tell me in the comments if you think it's harsh. But I think it was clearly a level below 98. Uh, and it was far better than AFL Live 2 and probably better than some of these other games down the bottom here and never played. But frankly, they left a lot to be desired, I think. I remember in 07, there was that horrible, horrible issue where like every kick was smothered. Um, and I remember it being cool at the time. But I reckon if you gave like Big Ant or, you know, Wicked Witch a second or third title, it would have been so much better than these guys after five titles. In terms of improvement, obviously, it's a different landscape now. Uh, all right, so we're finally out down to AFL Evolution. I would say this one was playable in the sense that I think I returned it, but I was a poor uni student at the time, so I probably needed 100 bucks. And uh, yeah, I don't, think, I don't think it was a bad game at all. Um, but for me, it just didn't quite capture me. Um, but I would say it was definitely... It was definitely a better effort than those mid-2000s ones, but clearly not as good as AFL Live from Big Ant. And you are noticing probably that AFL Evo 2 is not in here. So obviously, Caden made this last year, I think. I think I remember actually him actually doing this video himself. Um, here's a little plug for him. And obviously, AFL Evo 2, Evolution 2 is not out yet. I'm going to say, if I had to play so AFL Evo 2, it's going in yes, yes, yes. It is actually a very, very playable game, and it's much better than I actually expected. So I would say it's similar to AFL Live, the Big Ant one, where uh, the, the mechanics and the flow is decent. Like, it's actually doesn't make you want to, like, tear your hair out. Every game is definitely not perfect. Um, but on top of that, what it does have over AFL Live is you've got, like, be a pro mode. You've got that career mode, which, you know, it should be, like, bloody given in 2020. Um, but... Yeah, obviously, it took a few titles for them to get that right. And uh, generally speaking, the career mode's good. And frankly, I've actually genuinely enjoyed making this career with the West Coast Eagles. And I'll probably do a be a pro one in the future. Um, and yeah, this is the first AFL game in a while I haven't even considered returning. So I would put it up there with yes, yes, yes. And probably does shade AFL Live as the best game. Although it does have about nine years on it as well. So you'd expect a game in 2020 would be better than AFL Live who, you know, did it in 2011 off just one game. Uh, but there you have it, guys. That is my rankings. Let me know in the comments what you think uh, because I'm sure there'll be a little bit of contention there. I'm probably not being fair enough splitting these yeah-nahs. 
Um, I certainly wouldn't go back and play these for any longer than five minutes. I'd probably pick them up and have a little nostalgia game with them. Um, AFL Premiership Edition 04 is not in here as well, but I'd probably have put that in there as well. I remember enjoying it. I remember with 03 as well, I'm pretty sure you could only just kick drop punts, um, like straight drop punts, and I don't even know if you could aim it. So I, from memory, like I was taking marks in the pocket and just like nailing drop punts Dom Sheed style every time. Um, was there even wind? I don't know. Someone let me know in the comments because I, I generally don't remember. But um, there we go, guys. Let me know what you thought. Also, if you haven't already, let me know in the comments what you think of AFL Evo 2. Do you agree with me that it's probably the best game we've got so far? Um, it's funny to think that that's actually a question in 2020 when we've had like two games in a decade. But uh, I am interested in your thoughts. Like I always say, guys, like the video if you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe if you're new. And I will see you somewhere very soon on YouTube. Cheers.